Hey everyone, today I'm revisiting Better Homes and Gardens Jiffy Cooking. This video is a collaboration with Andrea over at Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Andrea does what's for dinner videos, grocery hauls, taste tests, all kinds of things like that, all the things that I love. And I always end up getting some really great dinner ideas from her videos. When I found out that Andrea loves vintage cookbooks, retro recipes, that kind of thing, as much as I do, I knew that we needed to collaborate. So I made a video about this cookbook, I think last summer, and I made something called peanut mallow dressing. I will go ahead and link that video in the description down below. From what I remember, the ingredients were marshmallow cream, peanut butter, and mayonnaise. It wasn't bad. I haven't made it since, but it wasn't bad. So what am I gonna make today? Today I am going to be preparing crescent roll-ups. Now, to find out what Andrea is making, you're just gonna have to go to her channel and watch her video. I'm gonna be cutting this recipe in half, which means I get to use this adorable tiny tube of crescent rolls. <laughs> so these are a hot appetizer. You make a bit of a spread, you put it on the crescents, and then you cut them into threes. So these are gonna be little, little tiny guys. I don't always have the best luck <laughs> with refrigerated tubes of dough. I have had an explosion or two on my hands. I am gonna try my best, so let's get started. Sounds like the first thing that we have to do is open these bad boys. Let's, let's hope it's not too explosive. Or explosive at all. Well, we're gonna have to thwack this one. Yeah. <laughs> that did it. Sometimes you just have to get a little bit aggressive with your refrigerated dough. This teeny tiny cute tube of crescent rolls has four in it. So this seems like a pretty easy recipe, a pretty quick recipe. Also kind of a good jumping off point. The basic ingredients are sour cream, onion, salt, and bacon. I think you could do a lot with this. You could change up the seasonings. You could maybe put some cheese in there. I always wanna add cheese to everything. I could see chives going in there. But let's start with the recipe as is. I'm not gonna get ahead of myself. Unroll and separate crescent rolls. Spread with sour cream. So we've got our sour cream. I measured it out. I, this can't be too disastrous. The ingredients are pretty tame. Uh, we'll see though, uh, you know, things can happen. This book is full of very quick, very easy recipes. They utilize a lot of convenience foods. Because of that, and because of the age of this book, some of the ingredients in here are not available anymore. It's not easy to make all of these recipes, but this one should work out. Sprinkle with onion salt. Okay, so here's what I would have done. <laughs> I probably would have mixed the seasonings and the sour cream together. It's such a tiny amount of onion salt. I'm working with a quarter teaspoon here. Just mixing the sour cream and the onion salt, the flavors would have a chance to kind of meld. And you know how things get in sour cream. When you're making a dip or something, you like to let those flavors sit together and kind of develop over time. But again, we're gonna make this recipe as is. Top with crumbled bacon. I've got my crumbled bacon here. It is already cooked. A lot of bacon though. That's probably gonna lead to something delicious. You know how I feel about party food. I have an entire playlist of party food that I will link in the description down below. It wants me to cut these into three equal wedges. I thought a pizza cutter would probably be my best bet in this case. Okay, okay, okay. It says you're supposed to bake these on a greased sheet pan. I have a regular sheet pan with a baking mat. Three equal wedges roll up starting, wait a minute. Roll up starting at the point of the wedge. This is not what I expected. Plot twist. This isn't how you normally roll them up, is it? It isn't. You go in the other direction. Okay, so these are kind of like pinwheels, like little tiny bacon cinnamon rolls. These are gonna be great. My confidence is boosted. Watch out. Pizza cutter is the way here. I love this pizza cutter. We've had a couple of these. The first time we replaced this, it was because the original one accidentally got thrown out in a pizza box. So it's not that it was broken. These are very durable pizza wheels, but you can take the entire wheel out to wash it, which I love. So I will, I'll link that in the description as well, in case you're interested. Not perfect rows, but I got them on there. Now I have to bake these for 12 to 15 minutes in a 375 degree oven. And actually, I'm gonna double check the temperature on the packaging. 
Let's go by that. The packaging also says 375 degrees, something to be mindful of when you're cooking from a vintage cookbook. Especially I found this with refrigerated dough, like biscuits and stuff. Sometimes the biscuits we have now in those tubes are just like a little different than the ones from back then. There's a variation in time or temperature or something like that. I have had recipes where I way over baked the biscuits because they had some differences. Keep that in mind when you're cooking from a vintage recipe. All right, let's pop these in the oven. So I couldn't wait to let these cool. I had to show everybody what these look like right when they come out of the oven. The smell is amazing. I can't believe that these are made with just very few ingredients, but they smell so good. I'll give these a taste in a few minutes. I hope these are cool enough because I am dying to try them. <laughs> They're still warm. You're supposed to serve them warm, so I think I'm safe. Oh yes, they got like nice and brown on the bottom as well. Here goes. Mmm. <laughs> Those are so dang good. Crescent rolls, you just kinda can't beat them for their versatility, admittedly. I did not have super high expectations. I thought they'd probably be okay. These are so good. Oh my gosh. Mm. I like this a lot better than the peanut melon dressing. <laughs> These are delicious. Highly recommend. I love the recipe as it is, but like I said earlier, I think you could get a little creative, do some different things with it, add some different seasonings, but holy heck, make these definitely give these a try. So that was my revisit of Better Homes and Gardens Jiffy Cooking. A huge thank you to Andrea from Foodimentary Adventures in Food for collaborating with me on this video. If you wanna know what she made from this very cookbook, you're gonna to have to go to her channel. And while you're there, why don't you check out some of her other videos? She does what's for dinner videos. She does some awesome taste tests with her husband, all kinds of delicious recipes. So I think if you like my channel, you're probably gonna love her channel. <laughs> If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red button below. This really helps my channel grow and it gives more people the opportunity to watch my videos. Thanks again and I will see you in my next video. Bye. And make these. Make these. I'm not kidding. <laughs>